Hello game devs, welcome back to another G Develop 5 tutorial. So today we'll be creating a digital clock in G Develop 5. So as usual, let's have a preview of what this would look like once we're done. So I'm gonna open G Develop and let's preview this. Okay, so here we have a clock on uh, which displays the hour, the minute, and the second. I just added um, the milliseconds I can take that out and we also have the um, date which is the 2nd of August and this is also on um, Sunday and the year displayed down right here okay so this is what we will be creating um, today so let's close this and let's open cheat vault 5 so let's create a new project from scratch so create a new project okay so here we go, let's create an empty game. And there we go, game settings, properties, let's fill in a name. So this would be um clock. Okay, so um author's name. Okay. Okay, there we go. Apply that and let's add in a new scene, add the scene and let's rename our scene. Um right here, rename and I'll name this um clock. So there we go, let's open this. And we have this scene right here. So before we begin, let's um, set a color. So you can set a background color by right clicking and going to scene properties and clicking on this. So we would be using um, this color right here. And okay, so there's the color swatch FF, um, 6F, and 61. Okay, so we'll be using this for the background color. So let's add in some um, objects, which will be the fine, a text object, add new objects, um, text. So we'd call this um time and X to display. Okay, we just set that to time because we need to see what we're truly placing. So for the color, um uh, okay for the color I would go with this, which will be a double eight um B O and four B. So we have that and apply. Let's put our time into the scene. And there we go, we have that place right here. So now next up we need to add in um the uh, um the date, so add new objects and text objects and name this. Um, date and objects let's set that and okay so for the color um, I'll be using this which would be um, 6b 5b 9 5 and text I'll just name this um, date okay so yeah that's okay apply there now we have this let's put this into the scene and this would be um, the, the date so now for the month let's add new objects let's add a text and name this month there we go, sex display uh, month and um, for the color okay so for the color we would be using um, this which would be the F7, 6, um, C8 and C9 apply that, let's put this into the scene we have that here so it's adding um, the Y which add new objects, um, text and um, I'll just name this on the year and object name yeah there we go so for the color okay so for the color we would be using um 2a4b7c for that and apply so let's put this into the scene and there we go so that's all for the um, for the layout so let's go to our events okay right here let's add an empty event and um sure about that add an empty event and let's add an action okay so we need to align the text in the um, center, so let's start with the time text to do that. We need to select the object and the position, which will be the X position of an object, sign, set to value. So we need to subtract the scene window width from, um, we need to subtract half of the um, scene window width um, from half of the text width. So to do that, scene um, window width, um, it's that and half of that minus the um, objects which is time the time text objects the width of time text object um so that will be half of this uh, of the time width okay so there we go and this would position this in the uh, middle of the scene so let's just copy this paste paste and paste there we go so next would be the date and uh, we need to subtract this from the date Okay, so there we go. Next would be um, the month. 
So reselect object and here we go. Okay. Next would be the um sorry. This is the um yay, so sorry about that. So next would be the yay and the um object would subtract from the yay's um width. There we go. This would position it in the middle of the scene. Okay, next up we need to modify the text based on um a scene variable. So let's go to our events, add an action, and start with the time text. So time modify the text sign set to value. Let's get a variable here. Um variable string, which would be um okay, I'll just name this time. Sorry about that. Time on the school var and let's close that. Okay, so Let's copy this, paste, paste, and paste. Let's go. So now for the date and this, let's set the variable to the date var. Okay. Next up would be the uh, month. Here we go. So month variable. Okay. And next would be the um, EA variable. So there we go. Yeah. Okay. Now this is it, this is all we need to do for our events. Okay, so now let's go to our projects manager, external events, and add um, a new external events. Let's go. Let's rename this clock.js. Okay, open this up and choose a scene. Let's select our clock scene. Okay. So there we go. Now let's add a new um, JavaScript code. Okay, that's loaded. Um, okay, so there we go. Let's delete the first event and okay. So here we go. Now we get this um runtime scene, which is a default um code, which comes once you create a, a JavaScript code and um in develop and this sets the background color to this um for the red, for the green, and the um blue. Okay, so we don't need that. So let's get that out. Now first, let's create a variable here. So we we'll name this variable um what should the name be? So let's use the month variable but this would be so month underscore variable would be equals to runtime scene um, runtime scene dot get variable so let's get the variable which um, right there so okay variable open close bracket dot get so this would get the variable variable name which is the month sorry let's start with the um what's it here we go let's start with the time variable so this would get the time underscore variable let's close that with a semicolon so that closes the max end of a line of code so let's change our variables name to sign okay so we need this okay so we need this to um assign to assign some values to the um time text okay so that would be for the time we'll just copy this copy and here we go paste one for the um the date so date variable and get the variable date okay so one for um the month okay so that will be for the month variable and this will get the month the variable which you created month variable and one for the um yay so here we go yay and um here we go so there we go that's all for now now let's go down and now let's get the date so to do that let's create a new variable variable I'll name this variable d would be equals to um new date there we go new date open close the bracket and add a semicolon to mark the end of this line of code okay so now variable um okay I'll just go back all the way up again okay so variable um variable time here we go so variable time would be equals to um d dot um get let's get the date so we actually need sorry let's get the hour first so we'd get the hour open close bracket mark the end of the line so we'd get the hour now to display this we need to use this variable right here so time dot var or the time on this called variable dot um set string open close open a bracket and now let's fill in this variable right here the time variable and let's come at the end of the line now let's go to our events and let's add a link you can do that here link and there we go so with the clock.js and let's preview this
Okay, so there we go. That's um the 13th hour. Actually, it's 126 here. So, okay, so this uses a 24-hour format. It's 126 here, so it's actually displaying the hour right here. So we would add the minutes and the second here. So let's go back to clock.js and right here. So that's the variable which gets the hours. So um, sorry, we could change this the name of our variable from time to hour. So this would get the hour and now next variable or uh, minutes or just name that variable minutes m i n or um, for sure and d dot get the minutes okay so this will get the minutes open close the bracket and mark and use a semicolon at the end so this will get the minutes and for the second variable I name this sec and would be equal to d dot get the seconds get seconds open close the bracket and there we go so this will get the hour, minute, and the second. Now to display this, all this in our time variable, we need to come right here, and well, we'll start with the hours. So this will display the hour first, and we could do hour plus uh, minute plus and the second. But there's a reason why we can't actually do this because it would add the um, hour, it would add this and the minute and the second, and display it as one single um, text. So to display it separately, we need to take this back and add um, a double quotes here which would divide both and let's add um, a column here and next up let's add a plus before the mean and plus after the mean and um, a, a double quotes and here we go so a semicolon in the double quotes okay so preview okay so here we go uh, okay that's not just plain oh yeah we have uh, an error here we're supposed to add a plus right here before the sec and preview Okay, so as you can see, this place is the um, hour right here, the minutes, and the second right here. Okay, so let's close that. Okay, so this is right, but there is a problem with this system. This would only display for the second. It would add a zero before the second. It would only display on um, the second as in one, two, three. So we need a zero in front like uh, this right here. Let's preview this. So here we go. As you can see, it displays three, four, five, but we need a zero before this. And to do that, let's add an if. So if open a bracket. If the um first of all, let's start with the second. If the second is less than um ten, let's go. Open some curly brackets and let's tab and there we go right here and the, and close this here. Okay, so once the um if the second is less than ten. If it's less than 10, we need to add a 0 right here. So here we go. This would add a 0 before the um, text right there. Now for the minutes, um, we could just do else. Else if um, the minute is um, less than 10. Same here. Um, time variable dot set string. Okay. Set string. Open a bracket. And um, hour plus sure about that hour plus open this and let's add um, a column here so this would add a zero before the minutes then a plus minutes so this would add the variable minutes and so let's add some double quotes here and a column in there and um, plus second so there we go let's close that and there we go so now once this is less than 10 it would um, display zero in front of that and let's add an else. So else, um, open this up. I'll just copy this. So if none of these are true, it should go the default way, and this should work perfectly. So let's preview this. And here we go. This goes at it's 11, 12. Now we add um, a zero before this. Um, once it's less than um 10. So next up, let's. Um, add in the dates which would show okay so let's just quote that right here and okay so let's do that um, here we go let's get a variable variable dates would be equals to um, get dates sorry about that sorry sorry um, d dot get um, dates Okay, so there we go. Open close bracket and semicolon at the end. 
So there we go. This would get the dates now. Let's get the variable which is a date variable. So um date variable date var dot string set the string to the date text right here. So date and let's close that right there. Now preview this. Okay, so we have this. This is the second day of the month of August. So let's close this. And now you may have noticed on this right here. Sorry about that. Right here we have um, this. So a day displays um, this as a date and this as um, the current as the date and this as the current day, Sunday. So let's do this. We need to create an array. So let's do that. Um, okay, let's go back right here so let's go variable date I mean this dates two would be equals to um d dot get sorry d dot get we need to get the um day so this would get the day open close the bracket and mark the end of the line okay so let's set this um today okay so there we go right here tap that in okay so variable um day I just name this array so let's go with the day e -R -R -Y, and would be equal to um let's go with this now fill in the name of the days you want here so Monday um on, sorry fill it in in double quotes okay so there we go Monday um Tuesday Okay, I completely forgot about Sunday, so let's redo that. And here we go. So we have the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So let's add the semicolon to mark the end of this line. Okay. Okay, so day would be um, equals to the array we created here, day array. And let's open this up right here. Sorry about that. And day right there. Mark the end of the line. So we have that right here. So just copy this which is um get dates okay that gets the dates and right here let's copy this and backspace and let's place this below this right here so control v so we have that dates variable would set the strings date so this is the date and let's add um, a plus right here plus space um double quotes and um comma space and space and let's add a plus sign there and day okay so let's preview this so here we go now we display second of um, Sunday so this comma we added here um, adds the comma right here so you can choose to add more spaces by just adding spaces this way so there we go we positions it right there so that's it now next we need to add the month so we would do this the same way we did the um, date array so just bring this all the way back and there we go so now let's do um, the month okay to get the month let's get a variable variable and month um, would be equals to d dot get uh, month so this will get the month open closed and let's mark the end of the line okay so you can choose to display a month in numbers by doing this let's get the variable right here month variable so month um, variable would be equals to sorry dot set string so this will set the string and here we go so you can fill it in here as month like the end of the line and preview so this would fill it in as numbers which is the seventh month but to get this in um you know alphabet um okay to do that we need to create an array just like we did here so I'll just take this out right here and let's tap this in so variable I name this uh, month array so this is a month array and that would be equal to um, open this okay so you just use this type of brackets for arrays so there we go in between let's paste that so we have January February March April May June July August September um, October November and December which are all the months we have on the calendar so there we go also now let's same way we did here so let's assign this as a uh, month would be equals to a uh, month array there we go open that and month let's close that so there we go now let's preview this now here we go we get the current month as August 
this plate there. Now for the Ye, which is currently um, the last one, it's not that hard to get, so let's just get it. Okay, so variable, let's get the variable. Um, Ye right there would be equals to D dot get full Ye right there. Open the close the bracket, and there we go. So this would get the full um, Ye. Now let's set the string of the yay variable. So here we go. Yay um var dot set string and open the bracket and let's fill in the variable here which is the yay variable. Okay, so let's close that with a semicolon and preview this. So there we go, it displays the yay and we have the month and we have the um day currently and we have the time. So you can just add um some milliseconds just like I did and right here here we go so this is the um second so you can get the second which would be variable i'll name this milli would be equal to d dot get um milliseconds open the bracket and the same column right there and okay so we can add this here by adding um a plus right here so plus and open up some set um add a double quotes and let's add this which is a column there and a plus and we add in our text which is a variable which is the milli okay so there we go now we can just copy this all the way from here and copy this and paste that here and paste that here okay so let's preview this so there we go now it displays the um, the millisecond so that's how it's done that's how to create a clock in a working clock in G Develop 5 um, Thanks for watching, hope um, you enjoyed this tutorial, um, if you did please like and subscribe. Okay.